Look, Elsa. You are tall and beautiful. You want to get into the bullet business? You need to show a bit more skin. Are you sure, Mr. Kai? <laughs> Look, you said you wanted a job on Facebook, right? I can help you. You're interested in doing photo shoots and becoming a model? Mm -hmm. Well then, models must wear different kinds of clothes. So, the boss needs to see you naked. Just to make sure that the size and fitting of the dress will be correct. Okay, okay. Up to you. But if you don't show a bit more skin, it's gonna be very difficult for me to get you good modeling offers. Mm, 30 to 50 dollars for modeling clothes, but 100 dollars for new photos. 100 dollars? That's so much. Okay, for 100 dollars, I'll do it. No, not actually 100 dollars. I get 50% commission. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, sometimes the clients may want sex. So, you should avoid rejecting those offers because this extra space a lot, you know? I'm 15. I don't know how. You don't know? <laughs> Come, let me teach you for free. Come here. Officers! We'll be conducting a routine crime prevention operation at Geylang at 2100 hours tonight. We will be targeting vice activities. Team Alpha, your locations will be Lorong 18 to Lorong 24. Team Bravo, your locations will be Lorong 11 to Lorong 17. And Team Charlie, Lorong 4 to Lorong 10. Any questions? No, no sir. sir. CID, we are conducting a routine police check. Can we please see your guest list? Any irregular entries? No, wait, there's this one woman who came in with a loss report, I see. Which room is this? This is uh, six. Okay, next pose. Nice. Okay, see, as agreed, I get 50% for every client I set up for you. No. 10%. Well, we've already agreed on that. You wait here. CID, police routine check. Can we come inside? Um, is there any problem, officer? Can I see some form of identification, please? How old are you? 25. Are you Natasha Craig? Now what? Huh? Can I see some form of identification, please? Your passport? Muhammad Khairu Anwar bin Roma. Yes, sir. Uh, but people call me Kai. So, Mr. Kai, you're born in year 1990. Yes, correct. I'm 25 this year. Chen Si? Yes. Is your passport? Yes. And what do you do, Mr. Kai? I'm a final year student in a local university here, studying business. Still the handphone? No, it's his. I need to check your phone. What is your relationship with that girl? Uh, We found some obscene photos on his phone. 
and some suspicious text messages which may be linked to advice activity. Mr. Kaiwu Anwar, we are placing you under arrest for suspected vice activity. We need you to come back with us for further investigations. Is this your phone? Yes. Can you explain what all these photographs are doing in your phone? It's just some pictures I downloaded from the internet last week. Are you sure? Because the data on these photographs indicate that they were taken from this phone yesterday. What about this series of text messages in your handphone? I don't know. The text suggests that there's some kind of vice activity going on. Are you involved in any vice activity? No. Of course not. What about this video? The girl in this video looks like she's only 14 or 15 years old. Where can we find her? I don't know where she is. Nurin, have we been able to identify the young girl in Cairo Anwar's phone? Yes, sir. She's sending photos of herself. Before I get you a job as model, I need to see what you look like. Send me a photo. So we traced her through her phone number and managed to identify her as Elsa Tan, age 15. What else did you manage to get from Kairu Anwar's phone? Beside Elsa Tan, Kairu Anwar was communicating with eight other girls about vice activities. What do we know about these eight girls? We are still trying to identify them. Okay, until we can trace them, let's go talk to Elsa and her parents. We are looking for Elsa. Is she at home? No. Do you know where is she? I don't know. I'm also looking for her. I haven't seen her for three weeks. What about her parents? Parents? Her mother abandoned her when she was just a baby. Come at my doorstep and disappeared. What do you want with Elsa? We just want to talk to her. Can you tell us where she usually hangs out? Try East Coast Park. Police looking for you? I don't know. Stupid! Ah. Don't even know why you're here. Don't call me stupid. I'm not stupid. Um, Elsa, can you come with me? Madam Tan, we'll just wait here in the waiting room. Um, don't worry. Elsa is not being charged for anything. She's just assisting us with an investigation. Yes, sir, Elsa? Do you know why you're here, Elsa? Is it about Mr. Kai? Yes. Can you tell me how you got involved with this man you call Mr. Kai? I posted on my Facebook about wanting a job. And he contacted me about this modelling job. And this man, Mr. Kai, was he the one who took photos of you? Yeah. Where was it? Cuppage Plaza. Level 5. In the toilet, he took pictures of me there. What else? He, he made me do things to him, and he... Did he do anything to you, Elsa? <sighs> and this man who made you do things, is he here, Elsa? Is he on one of the photos? Yeah, that's Mr. Kai, but I only did it once, that's all. You are very inexperienced, Elsa. Meet me at 8 p.m. on 15 April at this hotel. I will teach you different kind of poses and positions for your modeling and extra services, all right? I don't think I want to do your jobs anymore, Mr. Kai. Suit yourself. You will be sorry, Elsa. You've been very brave and cooperative. I'm going to bring you back to your grandmother. And then we'll see if we can get some help for you and your grandmother. So on the pretext of offering Elsa a job as a model, Kairu Lanwa was planning to recruit her as a prostitute. We need to identify the other eight girls to ascertain whether he used the same MO on them. Is 
there your laptop? Seize it. Do you have any other equipment we should use for recording videos? Where is it? Inside the drawer. We found these devices in your home. Can you tell us what they have been used for? I have nothing to say. These two phones have two different names. Can you explain? One is for personal, the other one is for work. Aren't you a student? From the document and files on his laptop, we managed to identify the eight other girls who are working for Cairo Anwar. Are these girls all underage? Only one is underage. Her name is Azlina and she's 16 years old. Okay. Do you find anything? Yes. I went through the second handphone which she found in Cairo Anwar's home. It seems that he's using the alias Mr. Dot Dot Dot. So when he was communicating with Azlina, he was pretending to be Mr. Dot 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 and also Mr. Kai. What was he up to? Do we have Aslina's home address? Let's go and talk to her. Hi. I'm SIO Neo from CID. Are you Aslina? Yeah. Are your parents at home? Um, my parents are divorced. Whose house is this? This is my mother's house. Is your mother in? No. That's why I'm here. My mother and I don't get along. We will need you and your mother to come down to the station to help us with the investigation. Will this take long? I need to go back to work. No, ma'am. We won't take long. I have to take this call. And you, don't give the police any more problems, understand? Yes. Do you know why you're here, Azlina? Is all this about Mr Kai? Yes, it's about Kai, Kairo Anwar. Can you tell me how you got involved with Mr Kai? It all started in April. I needed money and... I saw this advert on the internet. It was a job offer from Mr Dot Dot Dot. Send your photo. Meet client Mr. Kai at Bulrata Bar at Carpage Plaza. 8 p.m. We'll text details. So that night, I went to meet Mr. Kai. So you work for Mr. Dot Dot Dot? Yes. That Mr. Dot 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 is a real jerk. If you work for me, I can give you higher pay. He just exploits innocent girls like you. But for me, I take care of my girls. You seem like a very nice man, Mr. Kai. And you look like a matured young lady. Actually, I'm only 16. What? I don't believe you. But you look older than that. Will that be a problem? No. No problem at all. The younger, the better. So you're open in providing extra services? You mean... Yes. With you? Only if you want to. It's okay. Unlike Mr. Dot Dot Dot, I won't force you to do it if you don't want to. Excuse me, I got a call to you. How is it going? Does it go by and go? I won't get any more clients for you. This job needs you to drink and have sex. Everything okay? That Mr. Dorado is very rude. I haven't met him and I already hate him. I bet he told you to do it with me, right? You know, if you come work with me, I can advise you on how to handle this kind of situation. How? To be honest with you, I can find you a job. But you need to be open-minded. In this kind of line, you need to give extra services. But not all services is about, you know, 
I don't understand. What else should I do? If you come with me, I can teach you. You are very, very inexperienced, Aslina. But if you want, I can train you in different types of extra services. Would you like that? You will teach me for free? Meet me tomorrow at 7 p.m. at this hotel. I will teach you how to dress to seduce men without being uncomfortable, right? Yeah, I would like to check in. We need two IC. Sure. Here's my IC. And my friend here lost her IC. So will her last report do? Sure. Don't worry. I'll teach you everything tonight. I'll take care of you. Then what happened? The next day, I got a text from Mr. Dot Dot Dot. Meet client Mr. Patrick, 10 p.m. tonight at Boon King. Meet him, or I will post this all over the internet. Mr. Kai Abang, help me please. I don't know what to do. Relax, relax. Have a seat. What happened? It's Mr. Dodot. I sent him two new pictures some time ago and he threatened to post them on the internet. If I don't meet his client, what should I do? Let me settle with Mr. Dodot. Dot. Go and meet your client, alright? Don't give Mr. Dodot Dot his commission. Then, you can come work with me. So how? Do you speak to Mr. Dodot? Dot? Yes. You won't have any problems with him anymore. I've already spoke to him, and he also agreed to release you to me. Thank you. Thank you. Please take this. This is for my work tonight. And that was how I started working for Mr. Kai. He actually helped me get rid of Mr. Dodot and his blackmail. Okay. Can you show me which one is Mr. Kai? This is Mr. Kai. And which one is Mr. Dot Dot Dot? I've never met him. You've never seen Mr. Dot 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 face to face? No, never. We just actually talked through the messaging apps. Muhammad Kaiwu Anwar. We have physical evidence of you having sex with minors. In all the videos that you shot, we know how you pretended to be Mr. Dot 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 as part of an elaborate scam to trick underage girls into prostitution. Yes, sir. I am Mr. Kai. And also Mr. Dot Dot Dot. Our investigations reveal that the two underage girls, as well as the other seven women, were involved in your vice operation. According to the records we found in your handphones and laptop, you have lived off the moral earnings of this woman. Do you have anything to say? No, sir. I have nothing to say. Mohammad Kairu Anwar bin Rothman was charged with two counts of recruiting a child under the age of 18 years old for the purpose of exploitation. One count of receiving payment in connection with actual exploitation of a trafficked victim. He was also charged with sexual penetration with a female under the age of 16 with consent. He was sentenced to a total of six years and three months jail and fined $30,000. Muhammad Kairu Anwar bin Romad became the first person to be charged and convicted under the new Prevention of Human Trafficking Act 2014. 
Under this Act, anyone who recruits, transports, transfers, harbours or receives a child for the purpose of exploitation, whether here or abroad, can be jailed up to 10 years, fined up to $100,000 and given up to six strokes of the cane. Sex trafficking is a serious crime that victimises and exploits the vulnerable. Our officers will spare no effort in investigating every report of sex trafficking with a view to rescuing sex trafficking victims and bringing the traffickers to justice. These traffickers often make false promises of easy and high-paying jobs in the modelling industry. Victims are then lured into prostitution. Members of public are advised to be wary of lucrative job offers promising easy money. In the following segment, you will see the officers from the Specialised Crime Branch as they engage in an anti-vice operation. Officers on the Specialised Crime Branch are tasked to enforce and investigate into vice activities island-wide. If you suspect that any person has been deceived or forced into prostitution, please call the CID hotline at 6435-0000 or email spf underscore report underscore trafficking at spf.gov.sg. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. Until next month, I'm Superintendent Julius Lim, signing off.